Hello, beauties and gents. What's up, Journey fam? What's up? I'm so glad to be back with you again for another week. Um, welcome to my guests as well. If you are a returning guest, welcome back. And if you are a new guest, welcome. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you are a frag girl like me. So I'm assuming we're going to be watching this together. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So y'all what inspired this video today because i was going to go a whole nother direction which i will probably still kick out this week but i entered a contest on instagram with becoming mickey she's so sweet and guess what i won ah! i won i never win anything y'all especially on these frag contests honey i don't even know what the wheel of death be doing but it don't be picking me okay so she won and I wanted to be able to share this with you guys. So I haven't even opened it and I've been itching to open it since I got it, but I wanted to open it with my journey fam. And so, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I know that several of my family consists of frag people because I, that was one of the first things I started doing when I started my channel. So I wanted to be sure to feed you as well as I do my lock people. So here we are today with this video. We are going to go over what perfumes do I have in my arsenal and unbox and try my goodies that I just won. Um, so I will pop up on the screen what I won and then we will open it up at the end and smell it. I do know what one of them smells like, but I don't know what the other two smell like. So super excited about about that thank you again for becoming mickey for having the contest and i know she didn't just pick me but i'm so grateful to be picked and she got it sent out very quickly was very communicative with me um i really do like her personality she just seems really sweet and you guys will check her out on instagram so without further ado let's get into it okay beauties here we go let's get into what i have so let me just first say that my collection has dwindled down quite a bit because I've been trying to use up scents that I will not be purchasing again. Um, and then I've been like homing in on some scents that um, I just can't can't get away from. I've, I've had a chokehold on me and we will go over those as well and you will see how evident it is that I've been using them. So um, my collection actually fits on one little round table at the moment um, and I am rebuilding it as we speak, but they are goodies. There are some that I will go over that I will not be purchasing again which again I'm trying to use up and there's some that I will be repurchasing again and again and again because I love them that much so um, I do want to share with you what my favorites are so, because if you follow me and you follow me for that then that means you kind of have a little bit of trust in me for it and so I do want to share with you what I have and you can go smell it and see if you love it so let's get into it okay beauties let's get into it First, I'm gonna go over the ones that I have that I am trying to use up and probably will not be repurchasing all the way from the cheapy cheap to um, a little pricey, but I won't be putting in my arsenal again, possibly. Hmm. Um, so I'm looking to the side because my little round table is beside me and I'll probably let you see that. Um, and they're all there together. So I'm kind of picking and grabbing from there. So first on the list is the Oscar De La Renta Bella Essence. Y'all, I obsess over these. I have two. I have this one. Lord. Mm, I don't even know what this one is called, but I have the gold one and then I also have the white one. They do smell very, very different. This one is a stronger scent, more mature like scent. And if you can see the, the tag there. Um, and then this one is a lighter more like I don't know some kind of like Blanca like scent is very lighter more feminine very pretty so I could see somebody wearing this more like a a bossed up situation and this one just like jean t-shirt kind of look but y'all they don't last they don't last on not on me now all of this is subjective right because what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. So my word is not bond, but I am going to tell you if something lasts, I'm going to rent and rave over it. Okay. Because that is my thing. I don't believe in spending coins for no reason. I believe in spending coins on something that's going to give me the best bang for my buck. I'm all about a smell me before you see me kind of girl. Okay. I want you to know I am in the building and love it. Okay. So I am not going to tell you no lies about things that don't last. These are, are a pretty penny. I got these from Dillard's. 
And I obsessed over these things for like over a year. Um, anytime I asked for gifts or anything, I was asking for people to get me these and nobody would get them for me. So I bought them for myself. And they just don't last. They don't last, they don't project. There is no central around you or behind you. I wear them and never get compliments on them, guys. And so um, Oscar can't come back to my house. You know, she, he can't come back. Um, so they're pretty for what they're worth. Um, you can see the back of this one. Um, I'm trying to use it up. The back of this one is very opaque, so I can't tell what's in there. So I generally just wear them, guys, when I'm not really going anywhere important. Maybe to the grocery store, gas station, um, something like that. Nowhere important. Um, sometimes I wear them to work just to use them up. But yeah, these will not be coming back, guys. Mm. Okay, guys, next on our list is an Amazon fave, a TikTok viral fave, a YouTube perfume. It's in everybody's YouTube video, so I had to get it. It's on all the perfume Instagram ladies' things, and that is the Leali Rouge Swiss, Swiss Arabian. Y'all, the bottle is so beautiful, right? Super beautiful. I don't know if you see this. I'm going to try to see if you can see it. But if you look right through there, you can kind of see the vial in between there and the liquid in there. It twists open like this. And if you can see, it has like the little um, thingy that you rub on, guys. Um, this is a good night scent, I guess. But she ain't going nowhere, honey. She not about to project you into nobody's atmosphere. She gonna stay right here, close to your skin. Um, and so that's why I say it's like a bedtime. You just got out of the shower. You may want to smell like a little bit of something for 2.5 seconds, but it's not gonna project. Um, I wake up and it's gone. Before I go to sleep, it's gone. You know, I, like I don't really just smell it like that. And so um, it was not expensive, thank goodness, but it is a pretty bottle. It is that way all the way around. And it's just cute and feminine. I mean, if you just want something feminine to sit around um, on your perfume thing, then that's cool. But if you're looking for something that's gonna actually project, first of all, anything that doesn't have a sprayer on it, I kind of question, because how can I spread it on if it doesn't have a sprayer? Um, but again, something for just nighttime where you don't wanna waste your expensive perfume, you could get this, but I probably won't be repurchasing it. Um, again, I'm all about projection and I want somebody to be like, oh my God, you smell good, what do you have on? That's how I know that that's a scent worth keeping and rebuying. So yeah, she's super cute, super pretty. She is darling, the bottle is beautiful. It's very affordable on uh, Amazon. I still will link everything down below if you wanna check it out. To me, it's a bedtime scent or just lounging around the house because you got nowhere to go and you just wanna put on a little something, but I spray your good stuff, she's good for that. But to me, it's, um, mm, yeah, I probably won't be getting her again once she's gone, which will probably be quite a while because I don't use it very often. So yeah, on to the next. Okay guys, next in line is Mont Blanc. I loved this smell at first sight, okay? This was like such a creamy, yummy scent for me. You can buy, the, well you could buy this um, at Dillard's before. I got this actually from a company called Drug Emporium that we have in my town, where you can get perfumes like a little cheaper than normal because they usually come without the box. Um, but I loved the smell of Mont Blanc. I think this is the signature Mont Blanc. Um, it looks like this on top. It has this kind of like geometric-like shape. Um, it's kind of opaque. You can kind of see through it um, a little bit with all the lighting, but without the lighting, it looks just white. Um, Y'all, it's a very smooth, creamy scent. I love the smell of this. This definitely reminds me of like when you're super cute, but you're just dressed down. So maybe you have on a jogging suit or a t-shirt and some jeans and some flip-flops or like anything just dressed down, but you still want to feel cute and smell good. This is what this put me in a reminder. Very clean, smooth scent, but with a little bit of sweetness. So it's like if you took queen, uh, queen, clean and added a tinge of sweetness to it. That's what it is. Um, super cute bottle, heavy, because <laughs> I put it in my purse and it makes it heavy, but super cute. Love the smell, very clean and classic, but she don't last. She don't last on me, and y'all, I'm a spray. I'm a. You gonna smell me? Not her though. Not her. So 
if you are a light scent girl or like no scent girl, which is kind of pointless, but um, then this might work out for you because it, it's not super duper strong. When you first spray it on, it's a little, you know, strong, but quickly it wears down to almost nothing. Y'all, I've never had somebody say, you smell so good with this on. Not, not, no. If they did, it's because I just put it on um, and I, I really can't even remember that. Maybe my daughter, maybe. Um, but there is no somebody coming up to you later talking about you smell good with this on. It, it just doesn't. It is a, I think discontinued scent are going to be discontinued. You can hardly find it now. Um, but you can find it, but you can hardly find it. You can still find it on Amazon. So I will link it below if this, if this is you, if you're a light girl and you're like, I only want or need much anyway. And I ain't trying to project no, no, nowhere for people that got allergies or just don't like strong scents. This might be the one for you. So, yep, here she is. Okay, guys, next on my list is an oldie but goodie, but she gonna have to go to the grave, y'all, because I probably will not be repurchasing her. And I've been purchasing her since I was a probation officer, maybe five, six years ago. And she is Alien, the original Alien. You can probably see, honey, she been used um, and used faithfully, okay? Um, she is a very high potent scent, let me tell you. You gonna smell her. She's very, very potent. Um, I can't even smell it right now because I haven't sprayed it in so long, so there's nothing on the outside to, to, to smell. I'll have to spray it. But, um, so a little story behind her. I got her because when I was a PO, there was another PO there who came into my office to have a conversation with me before quitting. And she sat down, I was like, oh my gosh, just stop talking. What do you have on? She was like, oh, you'll never believe it. A lady came in and had this on and I, uh, it was a probationer came in and had it on. And I asked her what it was, so I went and bought it. And it was Alien by New Glare. And so y'all, I was, <laughs> hot britches trying to get to Dillard's to buy this scent. Do you hear me? And I have worn it ever since, but it does not smell on me. Like I felt like it smelled on her. She smelled like the richest, but cutest person I had ever run across. <laughs> it, it just, it was cute. It was beautiful. It was rich woman. It was bossed up. And of course, you know, she's got the look going on with it as well. Cause we're on probation. So you have to dress up cause you have to go to court and things. And so, I had to have this scent and I have bought it and bought it and bought it. And I, if I'm being honest with myself, I've only continued to buy it because I knew from having smelled it on her that it was a bossed up, very projectile scent. But also knowing in the background, it did not smell the same on me. I've never sprayed this on myself and, and said to myself, whoo, I smell good. Nope. What I thought to myself was maybe somebody else will smell it and say that, damn, she smells good but never me on myself. And so, let's spray. This is a scent for my ladies. Me and close your ears. You shouldn't, I don't even know why you on here. But maybe you're on here because you're gonna buy something for your wife. Go ahead and watch it then. But for two seconds, close your ears. You ready? Y'all do the closing. Okay. This is the scent that I use on my cycle, ladies. Listen, she's so strong. <laughs> she's so strong, y'all, that when I'm on my cycle, not that I'm I've, I'm gonna smell because I'm a clean person, but you know, you just wanna feel more secure during those moments and those times, you know? And so your body's changing, hormones are raging, things are happening, and you wanna make sure that you smell good. That's when I pull out my heavy hitters for sure because I wanna make sure that all I'm smelling is good. And it just makes me feel more secure during those times. So Aileen is one of those, honey, cause she about to mask almost anything unless you extra mercy. She about to mask off. <laughs> she about to mask, I love it. So she is the one I reach for when I'm on my cycle days. And so I just wanted to give you that 2.5. I do not have the Mugler, I think it's like gold or whatever, whichever one it is um, with Will Smith's daughter as the little person for it. I don't have that one yet. I'm kind of on the fence about it. And I'm kind of on the fence about this one. Like, I don't know if maybe I could put something else with it and then make it the bomb or not. But y'all, she been my go-to for my monthly for like years. What did we do? So she, she on probation. She came from probation and she's still on probation. We don't know. But I just want I just wanted to tell y'all that. Now, man, did you close your ears? I told you to close your ears. 
moving on. Okay, so just a 2.5. If you guys have Mugler Alien and you mix it with something, drop it down in the comments. Drop it down in the comments because I want to keep her, y'all, but I'm just mad at her because she didn't perform for me the same. When I tell you that girl smells so dang good and she did not perform for me the same, but now I have gone, I have gotten compliments on her. I've gotten compliments and like weird freaking comments. So I've, I've sat down in a you know um, movie theater with my boyfriend at the time and sat there, sat there, sat there. And all of a sudden these little girls reached over and said, excuse me, ma'am, um, I just wanted to let you know you smell really good. Like I've gotten it a couple of times. And one time I was in JCPenney shopping and someone was like, oh my God, it smells like somebody's been drinking a bunch of alcohol. And I was like, is, is she talking about me? Anyway, I digress. If y'all know any uh, combinations for this Alien Mugler, pop them down in the comments. I would love to hear them and try them because I really do want to keep her. But if I can't find something to put with her, I don't know what we gonna do, y'all. Okay, now we gonna move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be, oddly, Tiffany and Love. Now this is one of my newer frags too. Um, she looks like this, got kind of like, textured top to it um nothing fancy but got the same little textured little inside she missed out very very thin there's several tiffany's and the only one that i really love was the tiffany in love um but she don't last she don't last that's that's it that's all she don't last my name is tiffany i think y'all know that right <laughs> journey with tiffany right so I have always, always dreamed of having a Tiffany perfume. Like that has been my thing. Um, and oddly enough, even though I started buying perfume at a very young age, I never bought Tiffany. Um, I do not like the OGs of Tiffany. They smell very um, old to me, very mature. I like more youthful scents. I like floral scents, sweet scents, complex scents. I do not like, like the more mature scents like the Coco Chanel's and um, I just, I just don't. Uh, Fenty is one of those to me. The original Tiffany is that to me. Like, I don't like the um, stronger OG smells. I like more of the flirty, girly, bossed up, complex, sweet floral scents. Um, and so if you're one of those girls, then you can trust me um, because I'm going to lead you the right way. But Tiffany and Love just don't last, y'all. I can hose this sucker on. And it's a very, it sprays out very, very uh, misty, if you can see that. Um, and so you have to really spray. I loved it because it reminded me of like a white collared um, shirt and slacks look or with some loafers like that kind of like you a boss of something or somebody or you know, it gave me that like real sexy cute boss look like you know how to dress, you got it going on. Um, and it reminds me of wearing something white. She does not last. So I use her sparingly just because she's Tiffany and I kind of wanted something Tiffany in my arsenal. That perfume's in my mouth. Um, But uh, she will not come back home. I will not be repurchasing unless they come out with something that actually lasts. When I, I got this on my birthday for myself, I'd also bought Tiffany Gold and you can see that in one of my other either shorts or videos. And Gold was even worse, y'all. Oh my God, it smells so good. But when I tell you, I, so I'm a person, I will go in and try testers first. So I'm gonna spray on this arm, spray on this arm, and then I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna shop, and the whole time I'm sniffing. Tiffany and Gold, I kid you not, was gone before I even ever left Ulta. This one was still a little bit present by the time I left the second store, which was Marshall's. So that's why I end up getting this one. And then I just don't like the other ones at all. And so, um, I don't know. I don't think I'll be rebuying her. Um, if I do, I'm gonna have to layer the heck out of this thing, like buy the lotion, buy the whatever comes with it because she needs some help. She a little too, but for my girls that like light scents, you might like this. So if you like just a light, barely there kind of scent, Tiffany and Love might be that girl for you. So take that with a grain of salt. But if you are a projectile kind of girl, then this ain't gonna do much for you unless you layer it. I will let you guys know in another video.
y'all excuse any noise that you might hear um my neighbor's outside doing something half the time you hear a door slam half the time it sounds like some kind of pterodactyl or something is outside my window i don't know what's going on out there so if you can hear it, it please excuse it all right the next one on the list is something super cheap it's my cheapest one i think i have in the entire little little group of perfumes it is this little super cute sweetie uh um scent from rue 21 um if you can see like it, it it has like the little hearts the little hearts in it um just fun i was out shopping with my daughter and got her one i was like what the heck i'll give you one too and, and put it in my little collection but she don't do that now she smells pretty good when you spray her on she's definitely a you know you're home lounging you're not going anywhere you're just gonna take a bath in the middle of the day throw on some comfy clothes and just spray something on and be spraying it on this is cute girl it's super cute but it don't smell like nothing super fun too to get for my daughter um love the things that are inside of it but yeah i won't be repurchasing anything from Route 21 one of the main things I keep hearing it's to not make dead purchases, basically things that don't mean nothing to you, right? Um, and so, yeah, won't be getting this one again, but she's super cute. And if you have a little girl or daughter that you're trying to get started on perfumes, I think it's perfect for them to kind of see how they handle it. Um, if they like it, kind of teaching them to spray it on every day and you're not spending a whole bunch of money to do it. I think it was literally like five or six bucks. So um, these are super cute for the teens and tweens and little girls so they can get their little collection started, but not for the mamas though. Okay, and the next one on my list and the last one of the ones I won't be repurchasing is Miss Dior. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, this is a very, very new gift. I actually got this from my brother for no reason. Um, <laughs> he came down, oh, it was a late birthday present. He came down recently um, from Colorado to visit and brought me some perfume. Um, super cute bottle, and as you can see. I think she's kind of an OG because I, I think Dior has many more of them now. There's a white one that I really want. Um, but very floral guys, if you've seen my community post or my Instagram at all, um, I've made posts on there about her. She, um, is not a projector. So I will, I didn't purchase this one, but I will not be repurchasing once she is gone. She definitely reminds me of a summer day or spring day. I, I picture like a meadow of flowers, sundress kind of weather, um, and dressing, um, but she doesn't last. She on me. She does not last. Um, I might see if there's something I can layer her with come spring. But for me, she doesn't last. So it's not something I would spend my money on again. But again, for my light scent girls or someone who doesn't care about it sticking around, you just want to kind of spray a little something to have something on or have something on your, you know, your your desk or whatever. You might like Miss Dior. She's very floral, very sweet. Um, but she's not going to be around for a long time, just for a little small good time. So, yep, bottle's cute, very simplistic, but she's not a banger. Okay, now we're going to talk about the homegirls that's going to stick around. These are like your best friends that you keep around for a long, long time, right? Y'all may not speak all the time, honey, but you're going to always be good friends. they always going to be around. They're going to be easy to contact. Um, and when you do get with them, it's going to be like you never left off. So... First off, the house I really love the most is the Valentinos. I love Valentinos. They are my friend. I get compliments on them all the time. Um, I can go in the break room at my job and walk out and somebody be like, we knew you were here. We smelled it in the break room and it smells so good. So um, I have um, Valentino Coral which I got because I love to travel. I love the beach. I am in love with the beach. Y'all didn't see my last vlog. I actually got married to the beach. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I got this because I was like, every time I go to the beach, I want to be able to take this with me because it just reminds me, the smell of it reminds me so much of like a vacation to me. It's hard to even explain what it smells like exactly. You'd have to go smell it, but it makes me think of seashells and the beach and if if it smelled really good what it would smell like it makes me think of sarongs and swimsuits and beach weather so i really love it and then i also have valentino yellow dream this is my all-time favorite this is the one that made me buy them in the first place this is a banger every time i wear it somebody's like what do you have on 
what is that you smell good i've not really gotten many compliments on this one but i've gotten many on yellow dream and it does not seem to be the most popular one um actually the most popular one is the um i think this is the og valentino uh, of this particular line not og valentino period but um i think this is just the born in roma like nothing else to it just the og born in roma this is more of a floral sweet scent as you can see she has been used there is a dent in it i got the small one because when i tried it in ulta i wasn't really a big fan of it but i kept seeing it seeing it seeing it on everybody's instagram and different pages and so i'm like mm, well let me just try it because i mean everybody's in love with this one and not the ones i'm in love with so i got the smaller bottle i think she's worth keeping around again another floral spring summer scent that i could um have in my arsenal and just because i do like having the whole line um i will probably get another bottle of it at some point but my favorite is the born in roma um yellow dream and then the born in roma uh coral so this is my favorite house so far um and yeah i will be getting them over and over and over again they do have a hot pink one coming out i'll pop it up on the screen not heard very many good reviews about it but i like to kind of be um my own judge of things first of all i love pink anybody that knows me knows that's my favorite color i love pink of all kinds so the bottle attracted me period and then just because it's a valentino i do want to smell it um and so i am missing one and that is the valentino intense but wait a minute okay let's talk about a little bit of vanilla honey now i don't have all the vanillas i want because i actually do want like the vanilla kaoli um I want the wedding, which I think has a little bit of vanilla. There's like several other vanillas that I actually want that I don't have anymore. Um, but I will get, um, Kelly has a cocoa vanilla and just a regular vanilla. I want both of those. But for now, we're going to talk about what we got. Billie Eilish. Um, if you've seen any of my shorts or anything, you already know that I have this in my arsenal. Y'all, she's going to get compliments every single time. Um, it does not smell as good as I feel like it smelled when I first bought it but she still is a banger. I often would layer Kaoli with Billie Eilish or vice versa, and it would just be the most beautiful scent trail, and I always, always, always got compliments on it. So this bottle is very unique. Um, you can see I have put a little dent in it because you can barely even see the perfume at the top, um, and the bottle itself is very unique. Um, I love it. It's a big bottle, guys, so she's not purse-worthy. You'd have to get like a little decanter and fill up your little decanter or buy the travel spray um, if you want to kind of freshen up throughout the day. But she has a very good um, CI. She has a very good scent trail and scent bubble. You just don't like, you You can you can do good with this one. This is gonna stay in my arsenal. I'm going to keep buying it over and over because it is worth it. I hated the new one, so I won't be buying it. It was way too masculine for me. Um, I'm not a masculine scent kind of girl. Um, which I know that's kind of becoming like a thing. Um, I do like unisex, unisex, but it has to be where it could literally go for either one. But Billie Eilish is definitely one. While we're talking about vanilla, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the other one that I have, and that's Neighbors Latafa. Um, Y'all, I get more compliments on this one than I even do Billie Eilish. Me and my daughter went to Joann's, the fabric store and was walking around and I went up to this counter and it's like a big counter. I mean, it's a pretty good length across because it's where they uh, measure out the material. And I was asking about how much something would be per yard and she couldn't even answer me because she was too, too busy talking about how good I smelled and what was it. And they literally went and got a pen and paper and was writing it down so they could go and order it when I left. So um, this was pretty affordable. It has become very popular. So I think it went from being literally like $23 to either 40 or 60 but it's on Amazon um, I will leave, leave it linked below I get compliments on this guy all the time all the time this is an Arabian scent by the way I think I need to mention that um, and so is the I think the I think this one was an Arabian scent as well um, but this is one of the popular Arabian scents on Amazon uh, can't go wrong with this baby this is more smoky vanilla and this is more like complex sexy vanilla but you can smell the smokiness in this one and this one's just like this complex kind of what is that vanilla but 
she's gonna get the compliments over Billy all day, but they both are compliment getters. So if you like vanilla, these are two that you can bank on. Moving on. My next one is one of my newest ones I just got in the mail the other day, and that is Dolce & Gabbana. All right, y'all, oldie but goodie. You can't go wrong with Dolce & Gabbana, okay? Question yourself if you think different. You can't go wrong with Dolce and Gabbana. It is a light, but yet, oddly enough, projectile kind of scent. I know, it don't even make sense. Like, Tiffany, how can it be light and project? But it can. It just is not invading, but you still are going to be smelled. Let me give you a story. Before I became a PO, so we're gonna rewind back about 11 years, I worked in the jail. And it stank in the jail, y'all, it just stank. It smelled like feet and corn chips, okay? That's that's what we working with. And so you wanted to go to work smelling good so you at least have something good to smell. Dolce & Gabbana was my girl. That's how she's an oldie but goodie because this is like, at this point, man, the jail is, like my daughter's 17. She was two when I started working there, y'all. So do the math, a long time ago, right? Um, and I used to spray this on every day. And before I would even get down the hall to the tanks, um, you know, the air is circulating in the jail. It's like kind of recirculating, 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 which is not a great thing. Um, but they always knew, the inmates always knew when I was there because they would be like, I smell you, Missy. And they knew I was there. Um, and it was just a light scent. It don't make people cough and hack up a lung. Um, well, I can't say that. People's allergies are different. And what might not affect my nose and make my nose tingle might be different for you. So do go and spread. Y'all, everything that I mentioned today, unless you know for sure you don't have no allergies like me. Like, I'm never allergic to any perfumes, ever. Um, I may think something stinks, but I'm never allergic to it. I need you to never go buy anything that I'm talking about without ordering a sample or going to your local Ulta or Dillard's first, spraying it on or spraying it on a card and seeing if you like it. I want you to come back to the time my Tiffany messed up my nose hairs. No, ma'am. You need to go smell that and see if you like it, okay? Because I don't want you to get sick. I don't want you to have an allergic re reaction. None of that. So please go smell it. But it is so light to me, but I'm a heavy kind of girl, that... I feel like almost anybody could wear it. Um, it's a very light, complex scent. It is Dolce & Gabbana light blue, light, light blue. So it's a very light but sweet, sort of complexy scent that I feel like anybody could rock. They do have the intense, which I want. I want the whole freaking line. They have the intense, they have an Italian one, they have a summer one. I need a mild towel, I'm going to get them. Um, but I needed to restock on the OG first. So you cannot lose with this one. Consider getting this one or going to smell it, especially if you like lighter scents. This is definitely a um, t-shirt and jean, white shirt and slacks. I just picture white and crisp uh when i'm wearing this i actually took this with me to cabo and somebody was like oh my gosh you smell so good so it also kind of puts me in the mind now of the beach because i wore it when i was there because it's just a light airy scent so check it out next on the list is carolina herrera good girl y'all this this baby speaks for herself honey she 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 talks for herself we ain't gotta talk for her very much she talks for and by herself this is i think the OG of this line, because you know there's good girl, very good girl, all these little different little, you know, subtitles. Um, the bottle looks black, guys, but it's actually blue. Can you see the, the blueness in it? Like this part is black, but the bottle is actually blue. But when there's no light hitting it, it looks black. Y'all, this is just sexy. This is cute. This is fun. This is everything. The only thing I don't like about this is if you did want to buy one of the, the decanters, which are the little uh, uh, little things you can buy from the store, and you usually can put them like on the top of your perfume and pump it, and it pumps it into the little vial, and you can take it with you. You can't do that with this. There's no way to. Like, here is the, the trigger, and there's the sprayer. Like, there is no sharing this. You just got to drop it in the bag or purse or whatever you're going to do, unless you're going to get a... Um, a sample of it and y'all the samples be so high sorry y'all it's a little dust around the samples be so expensive that it's kind of like mm, but you can go buy one of those little aspirators and they're like five or six bucks so that's the one thing i don't like is how they made the bottle but y'all this is just everything cute and mine particularly came with its own um 
body mist, which I really, really love. So I got them together, which was clutch, clutch, clutch. I feel like I'm missing something that goes with it. I think I am, but I'm not sure what. I don't know if it's a little baby or a um, sample one, a roller or something, but it came with three things. And so you can hear it. You kind of, a little AS, what is it? ASMR, something like that, y'all. Um, <laughs> um, you get quite a bit in here, guys. I'm not gonna spray because we ain't gonna waste this good stuff because she was expensive. Um, but yeah, I love this, guys. This is a very sexy scent. To me, when you smell this scent, it reminds me of a silky black dress with some heels. You're going to a wedding. You're going on, even more so than a wedding, it reminds me of date night. If I had to put one word on this scent, they're like, pick a word that describes this, I would say date night. I wouldn't even say girls night out. I wouldn't even say really wedding, even though I believe that this could go for all those things because to me, it just reminds me of getting dressed up. But even more so than anything, I would say date night. You're going on a date with your boo, a potential, your husband, whatever it is, whoever he, she is, and this is what you want to wear. So, um, super cute. You can find it at Ulta and Dillard's. You can't tell me this bottle ain't everything. And if you get lucky, you can find it that comes with the other things. and. We'll definitely keep buying this over and over. Um, I hope by the next time I do one of these videos, I've got all the shoes. I want every single one. So, yep, one of my faves. My next one is one that people are talking about all over TikTok, all over Instagram, um, all over YouTube. All the YouTube babes who are doing vlogs are talking about Zara, right? And somebody mentioned that this was a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And when I tell you, she is everything in the world to me. This is Zara Red Temptation. Now, 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 just pay attention. What you see? What you see? Nothing. <laughs> That's because I done used it all. <laughs> That's because I have used it all. So, now, don't y'all be going on there buying all of it, then I can't get my refill, okay? But, y'all, this does. I can account for this absolutely 1000% smells like Baccarat. Every single time I wear it, somebody's asking me, what do you have on? Is that Baccarat Rouge? What, what You smell so good. I went to Bank of America the other day in the morning and I walked by and this, and I turned around and there was like a black couple back behind me and um, the, her guy had dreads like I had them. So I thought she was about to turn around and talk about my hair. But she said, oh my gosh, can I just say you smell so good? Like I wasn't even near you and I can smell how good you smell, what is it? And I could not for the freaking life of me remember what it was, right? And so I was like, it's Zara, I know it's Zara and I'm so sorry, like I cannot remember what it's called. Usually I will throw my bottles in my purse, I don't care how heavy it makes it, I will throw my bottles in my purse and I didn't that day. So we both ended up at the next Bank of America that was actually open. And then I was like, Red Temptation! <laughs> and she was so happy. Um, but y'all, if you don't want to buy Baccarat Rouge, that's all I gotta say. And, and the evidence is here. Do you see it? I reach for this almost every day. Like, I'm like, dang, if Baccarat smell like this, honey, I see why Lotto was talking about it in her in her song, in her video. Honey, this was on point. So this is a very good dupe. I heard that Zara has tons of dupes, so I'm definitely looking into getting more and more and more of them. Um, I definitely want a whole bunch of them. I know TikTok tells you all about what goes with, what dupe is for what, so definitely check that out. But Red Temptation is that girl. Next on the list is Burberry Her. As you can see, I have put a pretty dent in this one too. Definitely one of my faves. Again, my brother bought this for me on one of my birthdays, maybe like two, a year or so ago um, from the Galleria. Love, love, freaking love it. Um, I do need the other one that that's like this. It's more of a creamier scent. It's like the light pink and it's opaque. I don't have it, but this is a beautiful, sweet, scent y'all i love it i always get compliments on it always um i can't even explain what it smells like i do smell a little bit of floral and i'm not going to go over notes or anything today because we're just talking about what i have in my arsenal but it's a very sweet smell it's not as sweet as the other one the sister to it is, is sweeter and creamier but this is like more of a sweet i'm cute today you know look i feel good about my life today <laughs> 
Um, I love it, y'all. It's, it's a projector, but not too loud, but it's enough for people to be like, oh, you smell good. Um, it's very light. It just reminds me of like going out and like, you know, you put your makeup on, cause I mean, let's talk. You know, for us some days we wake up and we feel like, oh my gosh, nothing looks right on me. My makeup don't look good. I don't like nothing today. And some days you wake up and you put your makeup on, you do your hair and be like, okay girl, we look kind of cute today. This is what that reminds me of. When you, for that day, you feel like I look cute and I want to smell cute too. Burberry her, okay? So you can buy this at Ulta, you can find it at Dillard's, there, and probably all the other things online, you know, you can find it anywhere, Amazon, I'll have it linked below. Um, and some places are cheaper than other, you know, if you go to Dillard's or somewhere like that, the bigger department stores, you're paying for the box. And oddly enough, something I learned being a frag girl, the top, isn't that strange? Um, and so you can get it cheaper at other places like Amazon, Frag, Fragrance Net, um, all those different places. Do order you a sample if you don't have stores around you from like Twisted Lily or any of those places um, and try it out first. But I love it. It's a light, beautiful, pretty scent. It just reminds me of when you feel pretty for that day. Because we don't always feel pretty, let's just admit. Now, there's some girls that got some high self-esteem out here that I always feel pretty, but I ain't one of them. So um, when you feel like for that day, I feel pretty, I look good, I like my outfit, and I just feel pretty, not bossed up. Not not even just a clean frag. I feel pretty. That is when I reach for this. Okay, ladies. Next, we're gonna dust her out. Child, she going through some things. Um, the only reason I keep her, because if you can see, she's empty. She is now, I think she got a drizzy drop in that joint that I <laughs> that I can't get out. I keep her, y'all, because I don't want to forget about her. And y'all, come on now. Come on now. Come on. Can we talk about this bottle? Okay. Can we talk about the freaking bottle itself? I was in love with this daggone thing just because of the bottle. And then I smelled it and I was like, oh man, like, huh, that is some grown woman. You, you about to be an attorney, judge, or somebody today kind of scent, okay? It is so freaking beautiful. Y'all, if I'm being honest, this also reminds me of date night. Um, and it, again, it's Marc Jacob Decadence. Sorry, didn't say that. Um, one of the things that attracted to me was the name Decadence. My daughter's name is Cadence. And so there's that. And then it was so pretty. And then I smelled it. This also, to me, goes in the line with uh, Carolina, uh, Car Carolina Herrera, the date night scent. And if you look at them, look, they kind of have the same feel, right? That pretty, sexy kind of date night type of vibe. And so... Um, this is definitely like a rip. You know what? If I had to even put a season to it, I'd be like a fall night where it's like kind of cool outside. You have on one of those pretty long sleeve, very like decadence feeling, you know, um, dresses, like kind of wrap dresses with some heels on and your hair's piled up with some dangly earrings and your gold accessories and you want to, and you're smelling good because he's about to take you out to this really fancy red lobster type of uh, atmosphere, which I don't know, is red lobster even fancy anymore, y'all? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna pick Hibachi, cause that's one of my favorite expensive, <laughs> expensive places to go, um, restaurant, and you're gonna go out and have a good night. Maybe it's anniversary night or something like that. Like this reminds me of somewhere like expensive, somewhere important, and it also reminds me of date night and being really dressed up. So she is gonna stay in my arsenal. I'm thinking they may be trying to discontinue this joint because I haven't been seeing it um, in the main department store. So I know I'm gonna have to go online to get it, but I love this scent. It is not for everybody, do go smell it. I went with one of my best friends when I first smelled it and she hated it. She's like, oh, it stinks. I'm like, girl, this smells good. And when I wear it, I get compliments. So we'll definitely be reordering it. That is the reason she is still here and empty is to make my brain remember that I need to reorder it. So moving on, but great day, nice scent. Go get your nose to it. Next is one of my favorite oldie for goodies, OGs, triple, triple OG. She's staying forever and more. She's the only one out of the like three that there are, four that there are, that I will continue to buy over and over and over again. And she is Versace Yellow Diamond. If you guys have watched any of my perfume videos ever before, you've already heard about this scene that she got her own short. She is that girl. I also wore her back when I was a PO um, back in the day as well. And my 
probationers would be like, Miss, you seem like a rich judge or something. Like, honey, oh, I just love her. Um, I actually found out about her first. My brother bought it for my mom for like Christmas or something. I was like, oh, I'm about to get that. And so um, it smells very different on me than my mom. Um, but I also get a lot more compliments than my mom. So it's something about my body chemistry that really warms this up really nicely. Every time I go somewhere, somebody is saying, one of y'all smells so good. It doesn't take much. She's going to project. She's going to say hello before you do. And she smells absolutely beautiful. It is not one of those like, I'm sorry if y'all wear this. It's not one of those red door perfumes or anything like that, you know, where it's just, or, or white diamond where it's like hanging around the corner for miles and hours and days. Um, but you're going to smell her and you're going to smell her and like her. So still get your nose to it. It is a very bossed up, rich scent. She can go for a pantsuit, dress, skirt, romper, date night, daytime, office, anything. She is a all around. She is literally before the Zara Red Temptation, she is my go-to. Like this is the one that I was grabbing all the time before I got the Zara. As you can see, she has a nice dent and this is my 90th bottle. So I do need to get some more before it runs out. Um, if you have a drug emporium in your city, do go check them out because they will often sell them without the top. And you can just save the top from your old one and put it on there and it'll be like $30, $40 cheaper without the top. So um, you can also find them on Amazon. I will link it down below, but this is my all time favorite for sure. It smells different on everybody because your body chemistry is gonna warm it up, but you can't go wrong with Versace Yellow Diamond. She's the only one that I like out of the Versace's um, that are there. Okay guys, we are down to the last two. Um, one is a niche perfume, so I saved the best for last, and then the unboxing. The next one is going to be my Tory Burch Signature Scent. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing when I was wearing this scent, okay? Um, This scent was so beautiful to me. I can't, I think me and my daughter maybe were in the Galleria in Neiman or something in Dallas. We went in one of them expensive stores, child. I'm smelling perfume, and I fell in love. Oh my gosh. Um, y'all, I can't even say what I really want to say. <laughs> this is a rich person scent, okay? This is a rich person. This is a rich woman scent, honey. This is a rich. She probably don't even work whoever, whoever in my head owns this scent. She don't work. Her husband probably a big time surgeon or doctor or something. She just gets to shop till she drop. And she don't want to bought this scent because she got the best of everything. She's probably gonna have on some Versace outfits or Tory Burch from head to toe. And she is smelling absolutely beautiful and divine. She a boss by default, child. She ain't even gotta be a real boss. This is what this smells like to me, okay? When I wear it, y'all wore this, it was winter time. And I think me and my brother went to Dallas to just go hang out or a concert or something. And we were getting ready to come back home and I sprayed it on. Child, I had on my heels and my outfit. You couldn't tell me not two things. I mean, not two of them. Do you hear me? I was feeling like somebody's queen and boss with this on. I have tried to slow down on using it because I don't want to use it up because it is not cheap. Um, it does last. It doesn't last as much as my other ones, but it does last. There is an all orange one and they said it does not last, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Um, and we're gonna try it, but this one does last. It just, uh, the scent bubble is not very far out. It's kind of, maybe kind of like here, um, versus my Versace, my Versace is gonna blow in the wind, excuse me, y'all, and project back there. Um, but this is such a beautiful scent. I mean, it is a day or night, but definitely what we're on a date night, a concert, or any kind of, you wanna feel bossed up with some heels on scent. Tori Burch signature is that girl. Okay guys, last but not least, child, last but not least for now, right? Um, it's going to be the most expensive one that I own, um, Niche Fragrance. I'm sure everybody has heard of it, you've seen it. It's been in my, I know they're like digital. It's been in my vlogs. <laughs> It's been in my vlogs. It's been in my shorts, y'all. That is going to be the Delina. Delina is that girl. Y'all, she's still in the case, honey. Like, she is the princess that she is. I do not take her out of the case. I keep her in there at all times unless I am using her. She don't even get in the purse, child. She be in the case. 
Um, I did hear that Zara also has a knockoff of this as well that I'm gonna get my hands on. Um, but I got the, what ounce is this? Ooh, 2.5 ounce is what this looks like. Um, I think I got this from Neiman Marcus online. Um, she comes with a little signature, little tassels, little sprayer. Child, we are not spraying this week. She don't get sprayed to special occasions, okay? Um, Cause that's how expensive she is, so. Y'all, okay, work with me. But um, Delena is everything. Projection, CR, the scent bubble, everything is there. Everything you need with Delena is there. You you just, I can't explain it. If you hadn't smelled it, you just gotta go smell it. Delena and Delena exclusive. And they have a whole line of perfumes that are just heavenly. They're so, I think, oil-based that they are heavy hitters and stick around. And people are definitely going to want to know what the heck you have on, honey. Um, and so, yep, she goes back in her little box. Y'all say bye. Bye. And she's back in her box. <laughs> And she stays in the box because if you didn't know, perfumes actually perform and do better in the dark. So you're supposed to keep them in a dark and cool area. And while I keep these in my basket, kind of in a corner in my room, she is so expensive that I'm like, yeah, we are gonna keep you in here protected and let you ferment and do your thing till we're ready to use you. So um, I would probably pull her out if I was going to a concert or out of town on a you know day out or day night or something um yeah but she doesn't come out to play very often but i love her that is the end guys of what i actually have in my arsenal as far as like big perfumes left over again i've tried to use up so many of them um because i don't want stuff in there that i'm not going to use and i'm trying to rebuild with things that i really want and also keep buying the things that i'm <laughs> using up so next we're going to do the unboxing and try out our new scents okay y'all we are going to open up our box courtesy of becoming mickey on instagram with an underscore at the end again i'll um have popped her up so if you don't remember go back and find her but it shouldn't be too hard guys so uh -oh. so this is what we looking like on the inside can y'all see them all right so i have the other valentino intense yeah that's what i needed guys this will complete my actual um collection of my Valentinos because I did not have the intent and I don't have the new new either. Um, so here is um, the intent. It's a darker, darker bottle. It when I first smelled this guys at Dillard's, I didn't think I liked it, and then I went back and smelled it a second time because so many people that I follow on Instagram that follow me that are perfume, uh, my perfume fam on Instagram, all had and I was like. Man, I had FOMO, y'all. Fear of missing out, y'all. I had FOMO, and I was like, let me just go see if I like it again. So me and my daughter went back to Dillard's, and I hosed it on, like, okay, I'm gonna wear it. And I was like, you know what? I think I actually do like it. So imagine my, like, surprise and happiness to have won a bottle of it um, during my winning. So super happy about that. We'll definitely be getting the bigger bottle, but this is a great start, and I'm super excited to add it to my collection, because now, Outside of the new new, I actually have all of them except for the new new. So super excited about that. Um, I got let's see. She gave me Princess by Killian. Ah, y'all, I don't own any Killian, so I'm super excited. So this is like I'm opening this with y'all because. I have never smelled this, don't know what it smells like, but super excited. So this is what the bottle, not the bottle, the casing looks like. Um, we are going to smell this together. So super excited. Oh, look at that. Let's see how the front looks. Oh, y'all, that is so cute. Okay, guys, so let's see what this smells like because I have never smelled it. First of all, the top is interesting. It comes off uh, very interesting. Let's smell it. I hate to spray it on paper would be the first scent, but very sweet. She reminds me of, you know what it reminds me of with a 
slight difference is it reminds me of Burberry Her. But what, like with its own little something in there. They could be sisters. Mm, that smells very good. It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. No floral smell to it to me. It's a very sweet, soft, sweet, candy-ish smell with like a little bit of complex in it. Just a little drop of complexity in it. So that you go like, okay, that's not Burberry Her, but it kind of smells like it. But you would be able to tell the difference because it has a little something in it. So it smells super good, super sweet. For my girls who like sweet, this would be for you. I love sweet. I'm a sweet and floral like we talked about. And so this is definitely right up my alley. I can't yet figure out what I would, you know, I like to put like clothing and scenarios to these and I'm not sure yet. I think I would put it with the Burberry family of like, I just feel cute today. I feel bubble gummy cute today. You know, my hair is cute, my makeup's cute. You know, my outfit's kind of simple, but she cute. Yeah, I think I would. I, I definitely think it could go for date night. Um, I don't picture it with like a super like va va voom type of outfit, but like a I'm going on date night. He's casual. I'm casual. We're just comfortable. And I'm just going to spray on something cute. Nice and cute. You know, this is so sweet and pretty. I love it. Can't wait to wear it. Okay, guys, next is another Arabian scent looks like. She's still wrapped up. So... I don't know what I just did with my box set. Y'all see it? Cause I don't. Um, so we are going to try to get this open without wrecking our nails. Yay, we got it. So here is the box. I cannot pronounce that, so I'm not gonna butcher that. Awad, Ajad. One of those is probably silent, the, the J or the W, something's probably silent. So I always love how they package their scents, y'all. They got us Americans beat for sure because they know how to make their stuff look very luxurious. I'm not going to say it's not, but let's just say like, even if it wasn't like a Delena level, they know how to make their stuff look and feel like it is. So it um, looks like it opens. Yep. Ooh, sexy. And that's how it's looking, very pretty and very unique. I like that. Oh, come on top. She gonna look real fancy when I get my shelves put up for my perfumes. So let's see if I can get it out without messing it up. So again, this is how the box looks. Pulling it out from the side is A-J-W-A-D. Never seen it before or smelled it. Um, she was saying, the, la the young lady that gifted this to me that these were her three of her favorite perfumes so um let's get some paper and smell this after we look at the the bottle so that's kind of how it looks like up close the top is like a wood texture um nothing on the bag just gold but that is super pretty isn't it so let me get some kind of paper and let's smell it for the first time so it comes off pretty easy um we're going to spray it oh that's pretty very different mm, i can't even think of what this smells like but of course their scents are all complex right because they're not from here so y'all it's a very it's like if i mixed three of these scents over here together that's what this would smell like it's definitely a complex scent it, it, it almost reminds me of if i took alien Zara, which would be like a Baccarat Rouge Alien. And something I can't figure out and mixed it together. I know these two would kind of be the base. And then something else that I can't quite put my finger on, but it smells good. It's a very, very complex scent. I do like it. Um, I could definitely see being dressed up um, wearing this scent. This is not a dress down. This is not a dress down scent to me. To me, this is a very like get dressed up kind of scent um, and go out, whether you're going out to eat with a friend, going out to eat with your, your person, um, maybe even going to a meeting of some kind to meet with someone. Like this is that kind of scent. It, it's not a just play with you. I'm not gonna play with you scent. This is a like, we about to talk about something. We about to have a good night, um, whatever it is kind of scent. Like love it. Thank you so much. 
discovering Mickey or discover Mickey. I'm going to put it up there. <laughs> Underscore. She's super sweet, y'all. Made sure that I got my sense um, and checked on me and all the things. Check out her page again. She has great combinations and things on there. So do go check her out. Um, I will definitely forever be following her. She has a fan and friend in me, right? A frag friend in me for sure. Y'all, she even gave like samples. I've got Marc Jacobs sample, product candy, which I've had before. And this is one of my daughter's favorite scents. I'm gonna have replica coffee break. I can't imagine what that would smell like, honey, but we gonna smell it. Um, I have um, Libre, uh, the E.T. Laurent. Um, I do want to try this because I try it in like Sephora and I'm like always oh, like, mm, I don't know about it, you know, and then I try in Ulta, but this will be a good way for me to test it out and see if I like it. My friend wears it and it smells decent on her, but I'm not sure how it would smell on me. And then there's something I've never heard of. It's called Island Lush Sandalwood South Pacific um, Goldfield and Banks. I've never heard of that. But I think that's so interesting. And then she also gave me like a whole little baggie full of samples, which I can't wait to dive in and see what all is in there. Um, I guess since we're doing a perfume thing, I, I should I should say what's in here. So y'all got time, we got time, I got time. Um, so <gasps> Nishani Hasiva, y'all. I'm dead. Do y'all know I just ordered this? I just ordered this online and been waiting for it to come in the mail. Mm, mm, mm. Epic fail, Tiffany. And then there's My Way. Um, and then there is uh, S. Oh, let's see. I'm going to put it up on the screen, y'all. Mm, it's from Lucky Scent. I love Lucky Scent. Uh, the Mason Mataha. I don't know how to say that, y'all. Um, Escapade or Escapade Gourmand. Um, the girl, some of this stuff, Bora Bora, y'all. We're going to put it on the screen. We're going to put it on the screen because we don't know. The Acra, Acra. I have heard of that. Rise. Um, homage Guidance. Oh my gosh. Homage is like a big brand that I keep hearing all about. And I've never smelled any of them. So super excited to smell that. Indult Tahita, never smelled that before. And then Profumo di Firenze, never heard of that before, but I will be glad to smell them. But y'all, I'm dang so mad about this, <laughs> this Hasevat because um, I was watching another YouTuber and she was running and raving about this hot spot. And I was like, man, I want to smell that. I want to smell that. I want to smell that. Y'all, she just spent $10 and bought that. And then I got it in a sample. So anyways, thank you so much, dog. Um, she also put a card in there. Isn't that sweet? And it says a special thanks to you from me. Congratulations, Tiffany. Thank you so much for all of your support on my fragrance journey. I hope you love these as much as I do. Sincerely, Mickey. So that is super sweet. It is a Hallmark card. Um, so thank you so much, Mickey, again. And I hope that this um, definitely drives people to your channel um, as much as they come to mine um, in any Hopefully they come to both of ours, you know? And so, all right, guys, that is it for today. My little collection is complete <laughs> for today. Super excited about my new fragrances that are now being added to my family. Um, and we'll be excited to try them out and let you know what, what I think about them. I know for sure this one lasts because again, I tried it several times and sprayed it um, in Dillard's. Um, but these two are new to me, so I will definitely keep you posted maybe in the community tab what I think about them. Um, and so, yeah, if you have any questions about any of the samples that I will pop up, just let me know. And I will let you know as I wear them uh, what I think about them. Pop on over to Instagram and a lot of times in my stories on the weekends, I will put what my scent of the day is and sometimes what I think about them. So you can join me over there. I'd love to have you. And yeah, until my next video, which will come out really soon because this was kind of impromptu since I got the winnings i decided to do this um i will see you soon in my next video i love you guys thank you so much for joining me today especially my frag ladies and girls i hope that you found something in here that you could try or want to try i hope i gave you some good descriptions of what things were and yeah i will see you in the next video thank you so much for joining me bye now